Good morning. Oh, I like this. Good morning. Um, praise God that God has given us an opportunity to serve Him, especially me being a woman and all our sisters that are gathered here this morning. We are going to do whatever we can. However, the Lord will go and help us with everything that we can, big, small, a much, some, whatever it is. But I praise God that God has given us an opportunity like this to be able to do whatever we can for His glory. And somehow, I just believe that it just completely lit up. Just because the women are serving, not being biased, but just the, the, the fever of it. All right, before we go into, uh, you know, before we go into a time to start our worship and praise and celebrate, let's... Um, settle down wherever we are. I know people are still walking in. Find your best space that you want to sit at. Today, there's not going to be Sunday school, so all our children are going to be right here. They're going to be here to witness what, uh, you know, we have in store, so we don't want them to miss out. So just a heads up on that. After the worship, all the children will be gathered right in the front so that it will be easy for all of us as well. Um, so let's bow our heads, close our eyes, uh, and just, uh, you know, just... Uh, just prepare our hearts. Father, we thank you for this morning. Thank you for a wonderful day. Thank you that you have brought us for this day. Thank you for preparing us. Um, uh, even as we begin our service, I pray that you be with us, Jesus. Uh, we bless your name. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Now, I would like to ask Sister Sarah to come and do the um, Bible reading, and then Sister Ruth would come and uh, open the service with a beautiful prayer, and then we will go into a time of worship. Good morning. Today's scripture portion is taken from Luke chapter 2, starting from verse 4 till verse 14. Luke chapter 2, starting from verse 4 till verse 14. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house of and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in clothes and placed him in a manger, because there was no guest room available for them. And there was a shepherd, there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in clothes and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. May God bless this word. Amen. Let's bow our heads. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you, Lord, for this time, Lord, for this day, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for all the people who have come here, who have chosen to be here this time, Lord Jesus. Lord, I pray for all the people who are on the way, Lord, and bring them safely into your presence, Lord. Lord Jesus, we, we commit, Lord, this service into your hands, Lord. Lord, I pray for the worship, Lord. Let this be a pleasing aroma to you, Lord Jesus. Please accept it, Lord Jesus. Lord, I pray for the word, Lord Jesus. Lord, for the person who is bringing it, Lord. Lord, let your anointing fill him, Lord Jesus, and overflow, Lord. Holy Spirit, God, I pray, Lord Jesus, for your anointing to be filled in this place and overflow, Lord. Overflow into every situation, every heart, Lord Jesus, every place where it is needed, Lord Jesus. Lord, we pray that you minister to each and every person who is here, Lord Jesus. Lord, I pray for all the women who have prepared, Lord Jesus, with a lot of effort and sacrifice in time, Lord Jesus. Lord, whatever we do today, Lord, let it be... Uh, let it be a glorification of your name, Lord Jesus, as we celebrate this season, your birth, Lord Jesus. Lord, accept our offering, Lord Jesus, in the form of whatever skits, praise, and uh, praise we are doing, it, Lord Jesus. Once again, Lord Jesus, I commit this time, Lord Jesus, this service, Lord, into your hands, Lord Jesus. Bless this place and bless your name, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' precious name I pray. Amen. Right. Good morning, church. 
I request you all to rise to your feet. Today we are so excited because it's Women's Sunday and you see mostly Women's Christmas Sunday and you'll see that mostly women taking the offer tree, singing songs, dances and whatnot. We hope you all enjoy this beautiful day that the Lord has blessed us with and um, we request you all to join us, the worship team and sing along with us the praises to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Here we go.
together because um, we are close to the end of the year and I'm sure all of you have gone through so many battles untold and seen and I'm sure that all of you are grateful to God for what he has done in your lives. Let's remind ourselves of all the promises that God has done, I mean God has given us and uh, the way he protected us, our children the way he safeguarded our homes surrounding us and our homes, our families, our friends with his holy mighty angels. Let's read Psalm 91 together. Are you all ready? I can't hear you. All right. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. For he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his pinions and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness 
is a shield and buckler. You will not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in darkness, nor the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only look with your eyes and see the recompense of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord your dwelling place, the Most High, who is my refuge. No evil shall be allowed to befall you, no plague come near your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. On their hands they will bear you up, lest you strike your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the adder, the young lion and the serpent you will trample underfoot. Because he holds fast to me in love, I will deliver him. I will protect him because he knows my name. When he calls to me, I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will rescue him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. And the Lord bless his word. And I'm sure at some point of time in your life, this Psalm 91 is a personal psalm that has spoken into your lives and into your family. Let's pray. Let's take a moment remembering all of God's goodness in our lives. We've come to the end of the year and I'm sure all of you or some of you might have gone through ter terrible losses. Some of you have learned costly lessons. But you know what? Through it all, God has never left your side. He's always there and he always will be. Dear Lord Jesus, Father, we thank you and we praise you, Lord. We come into your holy presence with humility and reverence. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for giving us this wonderful day to thank you, to praise you, to worship you with all our hearts, leaving all our troubles and temptations behind. We come into your presence just as we are. We, we ask you, Lord Jesus, to accept our worship. We are not worthy, Lord. No, we are not. We pray and ask you, Lord Jesus, to look upon us with your grace. The grace that is that cannot be described in words, Lord, that is unfathomable. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for who you are and for who you will be in our lives. Thank you, Lord, and we praise you. We pray over our children, Lord Jesus, that you would raise a generation that will praise you and worship you and lift your name up high in whichever field and area that you place them, O oh Lord Jesus. And help us, Lord, that we may always look up to you in time of trouble because your word says, call upon me and I will answer you. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your wonderful promises. What can we offer you in return, Lord? We can never, Lord, we can never. You have given us the grace, you have extended your grace that we don't deserve at all, O oh Father. We offer our lives, we offer our hands, O oh Father, to worship you. Accept our humble offering, O oh Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord, and we praise you. As we sing the song, O oh Lord Jesus, we ask you to take this as your sweet offering and accept it, O oh Father, in your presence. May our lives, our words, our thoughts, our deeds, be pleasing in your sight, O oh Father. And whatever, we, whatever glory we get on this earth, help us always to point it out to the Calvary. Thank you, Jesus, for being born for us, being born in us. Help us to live a transformed life that the world may see Jesus in us. Thank you and we praise you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The song that you're about to sing talks about how can I say thanks for the things you have done for me, things so undeserved, yet you give to prove your love for me. Join us as we sing this song. If you do not know this song, I encourage you to consider this your prayer this morning. How can I say thanks? For the things you 
have done for me things so undeserved yet you gave to prove your love for me the voices of a million angels could not express my gratitude that I am and ever hope to be. I owe it all to Thee. Come on, church, join us. How can I say thanks for the things You have done for me? Undeserved, yet you give to prove your love for me. The voices of a million angels could not express my gratitude. All that I am and ever hope to be. God be the glory to God be the glory to God be the glory to God be the glory for the things he has done
one more time. Father God, we want to praise you. Thank you, God, for who you are. And we just want to say thank you this morning. That's all that we bring to you this morning with our hearts. 
with everything that we are in our minds and our hearts we come to say thank you thank you even when, as we look back your grace your mercy your undenying love your joy your peace your providence your protection your never ending forgiveness your faithfulness oh lord we want to bless your name this morning you have sustained us throughout this year in the ups and in the downs in the difficult moments in the happy moments in deep sorrow the way that you lifted us up we want to praise you we thank you for the breakthroughs we thank you for the jobs we thank you lord that you were there in our adding years into our either our marriages or into our into our lives we want to praise you so many things that we can say and keep saying for the rest of our lives that you have been so faithful this is the time where we come to talk about your faithfulness your greatness your goodness that it doesn't stop oh what can we bring to you this morning you give us your son we give our broken hearts this morning to you we pray father god that you'll work in and through us that we may shine for you wherever we are to bring people to the taste of your love and we want to praise you jesus we want to bless your name all my life that i can remember or recount as i stand here you have been faithful you have been faithful you have been through it all our lips and our hearts can say this boastfully that it was the lord and we want to praise you thank you for the things that we asked but you refrained it from us for the better good we want to praise you We thank you God that we couldn't understand the things at that point of time but when we turn around to see we want to thank you that you were stern with us we want to praise you Oh Lord we thank you We thank you that you bear with our foolishness we thank you that you bear with our tantrums we thank you Lord that you just look at each one of us as your children and we want to praise you We want to bless your name. We want to give you all the glory and praise this morning. I pray Jesus that this worship and this praise has been a pleasing offering unto you this morning. We want to bless your name. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen.